Howdy gamers, what is up? It's time for another segment of Let's Play Viral Boom. Hopefully this one will be a little bit shorter. If I recall correctly, this one doesn't have too much to it. We're going to be learning about some new elements of the game. Going to be uh, learning some stuff, meeting some people, getting down tonight. Forgive me if I sound a little bit low energy, because I've had kind of a... Let's say a bit of a trying couple of days at work lately. Um, without going into super mega detail, customers have just been kind of lousy lately. <laughs> um, depending on how long this chapter takes, I may share a story or two. Um, but like I said, I'm not anticipating this will take too long. As of now, we're going to be running into Shocker, more bandits. But, we may also be running into some non-bandits, which would really be the surprise here, if you ask me. And yep, so look at that chapter. Look at how small this map is. This is, this is not going to be a long chapter. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's nice to imagine. Also, I guess I lied a previous chapter ago. We weren't in Lycia at the time. We were at the Lycian border. I apologize. Please do not stone me. I mean, granted, I'm the kind of nerd who would probably have complained about that if I was watching this Let's Play, so can't really make fun of that. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, so we're almost there. By almost there, I mean we're getting there. By getting there, I mean we're probably like halfway there. By halfway there, I mean Jesus Christ, let's hurry up. Mm hmm. Even Kent's a little bit happy. Okay, what, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Point is, we're making progress a noticeable amount, even. Yeah, yeah, that is Lynn. Sex on legs. And then there's Cat Paws over here, finally speaking up and talking about how happy she is. Man, what, a, what could ruin this perfect moment of triumph and victory? Ooh, no. And look at this guy. This guy has an eyebrow that says, I've won competitions. Look out. Mm -mm -mm. The brow on this guy could probably slam me to death. Anyway, uh, if you think his look is intimidating, just wait till you get to his name. I'll, I'll, I'll let you slow bake on that one. We'll, we'll get to his name later. So anyway. Don't get away so easily. Uh, oh, hey, look, Ratface is back. My friend, my fave. He's, uh, he's still here. Should have killed him when we had the chance. Yeah, so, uh, the bandits are still mad at us. You know, it's hard to tell even which ones are the ones going after us for money, and which ones are going after us because they're pissed. At this point, it's almost like both. It's a nasty little toxic combination. Because these guys are clearly upset that we killed, uh, Dark Car Doors Jar, or whatever his name was. Oh no, look at... <laughs> There's literally five enemies, holy shit. That's so not intimidating. I can't even be sarcastic. Anyway, more importantly, we've got, um... This thing. W yeah. And then there's this... Thing. There's some objects in the rearview mirror, let's say. Anyway. His name's, their name's Urk. Urk. E-R-K. Urk. <sighs> Man, the names in this game sure do leave a lot to be desired, let's say. Hmm. Oh no, there's trouble in paradise here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt or anything. Like, uh, you guys go on. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just making a video here. Don't mind me. No, really, it's 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 cool. No, I mean, I. Do you ever feel like if I if I start getting ready to head home, I mean, maybe I can take like one more smoke of the pipe. Is it? No, 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 it's cool, dude. It's cool. It's cool. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, seriously, these these characters uh may or may not be quarreling, as you can tell, but I'm sure deep down, deep inside, we'll be able to enslave them. So. Let's see about that. They're green currently. 
So green units, that means that they currently have no allegiances that we can tell. Or allegiances to either us or the enemy. So that means they could go either way. Which means perfect opportunity to try and recruit them, am I right? Hey, Roughface is back again. She Devil, damn, that's not... Man, isn't that the name of a movie starring uh, J-Lo and J-Lo's co-stars? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is about to end in a very tragic way. I'm, uh, I'll get the camera ready for the photo finish. <laughs> I'm sorry, just this is so loud. That's a... Uh, that's, uh, I can only imagine Sarah's uh, pretty fucking loud. Whoops, I said her name. Anyway. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. But, he's using, looks like, a, a fireball or a fucking fire or something. Look at that. I've never seen, where's fire even fall into in this game, man? What's that? <laughs> oh, man. He's, he's an interesting one, it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's a cough. Anyway. <clears throat> so yes, we can talk to green units. Um, not 100% of the time, but most of the time, if there is a unit on the map that is green, and it has a name slash a portrait, like so, chances are we can talk to these characters and convince them to die for our cause. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So we're going to be talking to this lovely little she-devil by the name of Sarah, spelled in one of those middle-class white mob ways. Mm -hmm. So as you can tell, these two are kind of attached to the hip right now. They're going to be introducing two different uh, unit types in one blow. So... Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Sarah's gonna try and manipulate us, and we'll be like, oh no, Sarah. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I make fun of Sarah, but I actually do kind of like her in some weird, like, horrible way. And the worst part is, we're gonna be using both these characters, so. <laughs> you know, better get used to them now. That said, I mean, I don't use Urk that much, if ever, really. But, like I said earlier in this playthrough, this is gonna be a playthrough about using characters I don't normally use. And, uh, well, I've always been unimpressed with Urk's build. He's generally considered a decent character, uh, if not good. And, I mean, fuck it, we can get away with it. I just usually prefer using other units, but we'll see. So, yeah, um, if you didn't notice, Urk is a magic user. If you couldn't tell from the fact that he was using fire, which is not, as last I recalled, a melee weapon. Mm-hmm. Poor Urk, bitch boy of the group. And then, so Urk is a magic user, and then Sarah is, uh, they call her clerics, let's just call her a healer. Let's get down to the brass tacks of it all. She's a healer, so what they do is they actually can critical hit and kill unit and they heal. So, as of now, Urk has some damage on him. What can we do with Sarah to deal with that? Hmm, mayhaps. We sh I, I said mayhaps again. Forgive me for that. Maybe we should try healing with Sarah. Oh no, she spotted me. Oh fuck. My life is flashing before my eyes. Oh god. Contrary mage You know, he seems pretty agreeable if we're being honest, but this is me. Yeah, he has. I get it. So, okay. She's just telling him, hey, make me heal him. Blah, 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 blah. Her, her dialogue's funny and all, but I kind of don't want this to go on for 30 minutes. Because this chapter is short. So, we're going to be healing with Sarah. Any... Excuse me. Any uh, healer that has a staff can use a staff on either an adjacent unit or a unit within the staff's range, depending on the staff that we're looking at. Early on, we're only going to be getting the staffs that allow adjacent usage, like in this case, the staff that Sarah has, which is heal. So, that's going to allow her to heal Urk for a set amount of HP. It's not going to be a full heal, well, in this case it's a heal, full heal, but like, um, let's say Urk had an infinite amount of HP. It doesn't fully heal, it, it heals for a certain amount. In this case, I believe it is 10 HP 
plus the unit's magic. And uh, Sarah starts with actually fairly low magic, so she's not going to be healing for a super large amount early on, but uh, she's worth using just for the fact that for a decent portion of early game, she's going to be our only healer, and it's there's no reason not to use her because she's not stealing experience. She's got pretty much a limitless resource of heal stabs if you're paying attention to any amount of shops, and she just makes the game that much more convenient. Meanwhile, Urk, Urk is, uh, Urk's kind of a, he, he's there. Uh, all, all in all seriousness, magic is good in these games, I just don't prefer Urk. Uh, the thing about, yeah, magic is very useful, to be honest. Uh, we can attack from range or directly, so it's like archery, except for better in every way, basically. <laughs> um, with that said, so what we can do here is with this archer, it, I'm trying to explain it, shut up game. So with this archer, we could attack from here, but why would we do that? Because we're not fucking stupid. We don't want to get counterattacked. Instead, I mean, granted he'll be dying before he can counterattack, but work with me. So we want to go on this terrain, and then we want these fire. So fire is going to be killing him, and it'll leave us in a beneficial position terrain-wise. So yeah, magic can be pretty versatile, and there's even some tomes later on in the game that'll allow you to attack from very far away, which can be extremely convenient depending on the situation, especially if you have a good unit like, um, if you've built up Urk really well, or if you've used some other magic units that have good stats for that. Anyway, enough lollygagging, let's, uh, let's get this shit on with. Can you kill? Yes you can, don't care. Whoops, I sped that up, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! No, 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 I'm not really that upset. Okay, uh, you're doing nothing. You're gonna attack Urk. You can just go... whatever. Dorcas, you're not gonna be able to do anything by the time I get you in range. Okay, let's do this. Ugh. Yeah, that's not great, but whatever. So yeah, that's still the nice thing, though. He's still, he's still able to counterattack even when being directly bum-rushed. Which, again, makes him almost, well, makes magic units in general that much better than archers. Granted, magic is going to be based off of resistance rather than defense. So, just real quick for an example. So, instead of using this guy's defense, which is actually, we wouldn't want to, we're relying on his resistance. So, this would be like his magical defense. So, since his resistance is literally non-existent, it means we're doing more damage with magic than we would be with physical attacks. So, all in all, that means that um, we want to be in this situation. We're tearing him up with magic. The only time where it becomes inconvenient is that you can run into either other magic units or even some physical units that have good resistance. Um, so that would make things a little bit more difficult if you're uh, not packing enough heat, so to speak. And I won't get into the magic weapon triangle right now, but rest assured there is one. In fact, the game kind of forces us into it by... I think it's two chapters from now. So we'll learn about that as it happens. For now, rest your pretty little head about it. And do not worry, I'm going to trade you some Volmerias before I forget to. I also need to give you a Lance. I should have planned this. Oh well, well you know, I'll just have to deal in the meantime. Oh yeah, I was in the trade. Man, I'm scatterbrained right now. Okay. So fortunately, by next chapter, I think we'll be able to start organizing our units a bit more. So that's definitely something I am greatly looking forward to. Um, it'll also give me something to cut out from most segments in the future. But we'll get to that when we get there. Um, there's Lynn. I don't even care what I'm doing with her. I don't really give a shit. Okay, let's go. Oh no. Cool, cool, cool. That's, that's good enough as far as I'm concerned. And so, now here's the cool thing. Oh no, Fleury's damage, boom. No cost. And like I said, the good thing about healers is that they're tapping into like an experience pool that's not like shared. So, if we want to get Sarah to level up, she's not stealing kills, at least not now. So, that's something that's always really convenient about healers. That's why I actually prefer using healers um, over, like, direct magic units in a lot of these games, but uh, that's, that's uh, I'm going to save that for another topic. 
probably from when we get our next healer, which won't be for a very decent while. And yeah, this is why I don't like Urk. <laughs> he starts out with pretty low magic, and I've never had good luck with getting him to raise it. He's always been way too speedy, not uh, meaty, so to speak. Uh, can Kent weaken? No, he can't. That is pure ugly. Her ugly, no, like, or whatever. Okay, let's do this. Woo! The chapter is almost done, and I'm very much excited for it. Oh, whatever shit brains. Get your greasy little taint over here, you're gonna die. <sighs> Man, I dislike it when they use strategy against me in the strategy game. <sighs> that is a uh, load of shit and a half. Yeah, look at Dorcas, he's all the way over here. I'm, I'm, we're almost forgetting that he exists. Oh, Dorcas, you live a sad life. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you. Oh sweet, he's criticaling. That sounded, I, I said that with a sarcastic tone. I'm actually relieved because I wanted to use Ken to buy some stuff. Since there is an armory over here and I believe they sell javelins and, yeah, javelins and hand axes. I definitely want at least one javelin. Do I have room for another one? No, I do not. <sighs> That's kind of a shame. Whatever. At the very least, I can probably get Florina to hightail it over here then. Because uh, I definitely want a javelin for her. And I'm not using gold for anything else right now. Okay. It would also be nice if he was selling regular iron lances, but whatever, Mega can't be choosers. It's easy. Nice. Two damage. And there goes Lynn, just destroying everything. Good old Lynn. That's what she does. Okay, let's raid this up. Sped up right at the wrong time, so now I just added myself some game time. Here goes the speed run, guys. Sorry. I've uh, definitely negatively impacted this run. It's definitely going to be a sub 30 hour run at this rate. Sure, whatever. I don't even know who I want to get the kill at this point. Part of me says Urk, but Urk's kind of over in buttfuck Egypt. And we'll see. Ken can probably get a level up just from weakening. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, remember how I said slow burn on that guy's name? Look at it. It's Bug. B-U-G. Fucking Bug. <laughs> like, what, what next? Are you going to name your kid Lolita? Like, how much do you really, really love your child if you name him Bug? Uh, anyway, so 14 damage. Ken's not killing. I can probably afford to just do this and get Ken a level up. Twist my arm. Yeah, no, this guy stands no chance. It's mathematically impossible for Kent to die. No less for this guy to do anything to him at this point. And holy moly, good level up. I like that. Speed and defense are probably the most important stats for Kent at this point. Because if he can be... If he can dodge, or double, and take damage, that's really all I need to use him for. Okay, let's see if we can get Earth to kill them. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's see, Eric, are you going to be getting this kill? Say yes, say yes, say you will. Come on, come on, baby, my boy. My boy. Cool. Man, poor bug. He was born to the parents who didn't love him. Alrighty, get some, get magic, get magic, get magic. Yeah, okay, I mean, I guess I can't complain. He did just, like, basically only get magic. Whatever. Careful what you wish for, monkey's paw, etc., etc. So yeah, that was a relatively brisk chapter. I'm for it. Um, beyond that, like I said, we're going to be using Sarah and Eric. Uh, things to keep in mind is that I believe Sarah... Is it... I don't know if it's Sarah or if it's Eric. Uh, I think it's actually Sarah. Sarah is literally the unit in the game who gets the most screen time out of the entire cast. Because she will be in every single chapter in this playthrough except for one beyond this. If I'm not mistaken. Um, potentially, well actually, okay, she can be in every chapter beyond this um, besides one. So, 
Yeah, she's going to be getting the most airtime, which is simultaneously good and bad, because on the one hand, she's fucking annoying. On the other, she's very convenient in terms of not only her build, but just having the healing abilities. So, it's kind of a nice thing that the game throws your way. They toss you this character, say, like, hey, champ, saw that you were having some trouble there. Get good. Anyway, here's Sane sweet-talking uh, Sarah with the promise of royalty. Good old saying the blabbermouth. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, no fucking shit she's important. Couldn't you smell the main character on her? I mean, to be fair, you kind of owe us more than that. I mean, we're the ones who say, you know, whatever, whatever. As long as you're traveling with us, who cares? Mm-hmm. Yep, you manipulative little she-devil. Girls, you know you better watch out. Some girls, some girls are only about. I think I should mess up, mess up, mess up that quote. Whatever. I don't listen to that song enough. Cause it's like boys, you know you know. Whatever. So anyway, can we get enough of this? Uh, this is over with now. Yeah, and Eric's gonna be a total pussyfoot about it. And he's like, oh, no, no. he's like Kiff from Futurama. Like, I you, uh, I, I'm not sure if we should um. Uh, I don't know about that mistress's brand again. You know, actually, this is a pretty good example. Uh, Sarah's the sad brand again, and Eric is Kiff. You know, if I was an artist, I would draw fan art of that. Anyway, enough of that. Um, now we're going to be hearing back from Lundgren. If you don't remember that guy, he's the chin man. And uh, he's... You know, I just realized, he has got, like, the widow's peak of the century. Look at that shit. Like, he's got nothing on Vegeta, or Vegeta's got nothing on him, rather. Um, so yeah, he's able to somehow know that we crossed the border and he's going to be fuming about it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh no, we're gonna be ambushed at Arafend. Man, if only we could stop this course of action. Oh well, time to die in Arafend. Like a drowning man to a rock. You know, if he's clinging to a rock, he's not drowning at that point, you dipshit. That means he's he's got an anchor. Right, whatever. Total poison strength. Mm. Oh man, he's getting desperate. So much, so much for subtlety. Literally the second time we see this guy, he's flipping out his shit. Mm. Poor Lundgren. That's what happens when you wait until the last day to study for a test. You get fucked. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, cramming aside, looks like this chapter is now officially ended for good forever. So, with that in mind, we'll be uh, continuing this playthrough in Arafin next segment. We'll have to see what happens with that ambush. Will we survive? Will this be the end of the game tomorrow? And more importantly, why is Urk's hair purple? I've never understood that. Anyway, uh... We'll see you then, uh, and thanks for watching this Let's Play, you beautiful, horribly, horribly attractive person.